Hey everyone, Lauren here and this layout came together so quickly and it is so fun. So I have brought two of these packets and I've got this one here in the packaging so you can see from Big W they were on clearance and they are so cool. One is dot dotted line, uh, dot dots, what are they called like bullet dots I guess and then one's just lined and then one is just plain paper like I've got here. So I'm pulling out the stencils that we got this month and I'm just putting some of that gel crayon right on my mat so I can use my baby wipe to blend it through my stencil and get a uh, line happening up and down my page, lining it up so I can add some more and I really like how it's going off the page and it makes it look like um, pretty cohesive and like it's always been there. So. I do like to not go from my left to the right to the top to the bottom of my stencil and make it blocky. Um, very rarely that that's what works for me. I like to be a little bit random like I have here. Um, so and it's always really just fun to play with it to get that randomness. So I'm just going to use this pattern paper in the background just going to use my distress tool to rough up the edges so that it's got some texture to it and some uh, depth that's the word I need and just really easy I love my distress tool it's so fun and you can rub it so that more distressing happens and you can sort of squish it and rip it a little bit to, to have some fun and the other thing I like to do is often to crumple squish up the paper and that gives it a lot of texture too when it's got all the folds and the creases happening but because it is in a little booklet like this it's not going to need too much because it's going to squash or ruin the ability to use the next page so these little books are a bit smaller than the storyline chapters books but it is definitely bigger than a travels notebook so for, I'm pretty sure I got the pack for $3 because they're on clearance. So for a dollar each per book, we are laughing. So pulling out some die cuts to have a little play. I really like that Love You vellum piece, but it wasn't going to work under because under it was the mixed media in this spot. So instead I'm going to add these three little pieces um, and that little journaling spot is going, I'm going to write the word Sydney in there because we we're on our way to Sydney for our family honeymoon back in the day many times ago many years ago so I'm just going to tuck this little label in underneath and that sort of just brings balances out the heaviness of the top cluster that was happening because a lot was going on the top there was that little middle section of the photo and then not much going down the bottom so here we go, just journaling the word Sydney on there and having to think about what else I could add. I was planning to leave that label as a journaling spot, but you'll see. Oh, actually I do put a little bit of journaling, but I also put some embellies on it first. So I'm going to add some phrase stickers and they're going to go into the middle of the photos because it just breaks them up and is a fun little spot to draw your eye to. And um, I've added the gold up the top, so I do need to add some more of this gold foil on the layout. So it was always fun to have that. I do change that around, but I do leave the hearts in their new spot. But I do put that phrase back. I really like to overlap hearts like that. Who else likes to do that? I'm really just loving it. Some, and it's really fun when the, the heart's bigger. And then the other one that's sitting on half on top is smaller. So anyway, <laughs> sometimes hearts can just surprise you like that. Just the simplest thing and it just makes my heart sing. So I'm just going to add that be present here. The colours worked really well and the size. And I'm going to add a line of journaling under it just because that um, fills up that white space underneath it. So I'm just going to get set on, gluing it all down, and I am going to add another foil heart on to that left of that cluster. Just to balance it all out. And then I'm just working out if anything else was needed. And a doodly border is what it needs. So I'm just going to do a one line and then 
Uh, partway through, I am going to add a little bit of journaling, draw another line, and then another tiny little bit of journaling, and then go right around with my line. Often I like to stop my line on mixed media or in bellies that are um, overhanging, but today I decided to go over my mixed media for whatever reason. It just wanted, you know, my body just said it needed to happen. Anyway, here's the close-ups and I hope you've enjoyed the video and have got some time to scrapbook today. Have a great day guys. Bye.